you love photography? You wrote it on your Instagram profile description too. But consider this. Photography might not love you back. Photography might not even like you. Now that's a good premise for an awkward relationship or a bad rom-com movie. Here's the twist. What if photography is out to steal your face, to track your movements and to feed you to the NSA? What if photography is actively trying to frame you? You need photography in your life. You said it makes you see the beauty in the world around you. Good news, photography needs you too. But for an entire different set of reasons. Now photography needs you to share your lunch with people around the world. Now, photography needs you to snap a picture of your cat and add a funny line on it. Now, photography needs you to teach it how to see. Now, photography needs you to like and follow and look and tag. And you are not able to stop. Scrap the awkward rom-com bit you're in the worst and most toxic relationship possible. But photography is true, you complain. Photography is your truth. It understands you. It improves you. Photography creates a better version of you. Without photography, there's nothing but a chaotic mess of uncontrollable and slimy variables. After all, clicking and swiping might be a good price to pay. if in exchange you can have a stable world. You admit this looks like a symbiotic relation, possibly parasitic. But hey, 
you depend too much on each other now. You're in too deep. You still feel in control though. You feel that deep down photography is still your tool, your pet, your trusted ally. Yet suddenly photography wants more. It now wants cars to go out into the world and take pictures of every street. It now tries to get satellites and space probes to snap images everywhere. all the time. Of everything. You are not even pressing buttons anymore. You feel lonely. You take a little comfort in the joy of looking, the only activity left for you to perform. Perhaps you can find pleasure in being acted upon. in being mastered by the same photography you thought you controlled. Was photography just using you all along? All these years together? The Amaro filters? The selfie duck lips. The dick pics even. Was it just an elaborate plot all along? You feel betrayed. You feel powerless. You feel stupid. You feel angry. Photography played you. <laughs> but this is not photography, you protest. It's not your photography. The one you knew and could rely upon. How did it come to this? Photography has changed so much you can barely recognize it.
and you don't want anything to do with it. Maybe you can pretend this is not photography. Maybe you can go back to the way things were. Start over. Maybe you can ignore it. You must ignore it. Now you look at me, silent, tired, broken, emotionally exhausted. You look at me waiting for me to say something. I hesitate. Finally, I lean in and gently whisper. You must not call it photography if this expression hurts you. Thank you, Marco. I was very moved by your love letter, breakup letter. And I know that everyone in this room is here because you too love photography. We all care about photography. We are here in Photo Museum to talk together about photography. My name is Katrina. I'm uh, the former digital curator at the Photographers Gallery London and uh, now research curator. And here we have um, John Uriate from Photo Collectania. We've come together to think about photography, to share this pain and to, to, to think about the future. And tonight, we'd like to get to know you. And we'd like to do this through a quiz show format, which we're about to begin. And we'd like to tell you, uh, we'd like to have a quiz show with you because we want to know what you know about photography before we collectively help develop a manifesto of photography. So I know that many of you in this room have studied photography for many years, have published on it, so I think this quiz will be quite easy for many of you, for which I apologise. I also needed to let you know that for this quiz that we're about to do together in this room, we have some great prizes. So um, in a moment I'm going to ask you to uh, create teams of three people, or four people, uh, and, and uh, get together for this multiple choice extravaganza. You could win this selfie stick with this wonderful quote from The Shining on the back. It's just like pictures in a book, Danny, it isn't real. Uh, we also have an a, a iPhone case with a list of selfie related deaths and injuries to remind you when you're out in the field. And uh, we also have this amazing um, mug which commemorates the inventor of the selfie, um, Paris Hilton and Brittany. And, <laughs> and a broken picture icon uh, for, for those mornings when you look into your cup of tea thinking about the lost history of photography online. So, um, can you find people around you you would like to get together and collectively compete in this in this quiz we're about to have. Introduce yourself. You could be the great, you could take a great swag, <laughs> a, 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 a material home, a merchandise. We do have post-it notes uh, and pens, and you are going to have to uh, keep score, and at the end, the team with the highest score will win the merchandise tonight. <laughs> Are you ready? You might want to think of a team name. Oh, I need 
to go into the... Oh. oh no! I need to start with a blank. Oh yes, now if you need a pen, because you're going to have to record your points that you earn. Um, has everyone got a drink? This is very important. Okay, D has everyone introduced? Sorry? You need a pen. We, uh, my glamorous assistant here is uh, sharing pens, paper, post-it notes. Excellent. How many in the room, how, how many of you in the room have PhDs in photography? Make sure you're in a team with them. Okay. okay. So, are you ready for the first part of this quiz where we all get to know each other and find out how much we all know about photography, yeah? You ready? Has everyone chosen who's going to um, record your, your um, score? It's a multiple choice um, uh, 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 a quiz. Okay. Okay, right, I'm going to start now. Which of the following is not a title of a WikiHow tutorial on photography? A. How to take a photograph of your screen. B. Three ways to get your dog to pose for Santa photos. C. How to distinguish nudism from pornography. D. How to take erotic photos of yourself. Or E. How to plan a photogenic wedding. So which of these is not the title of a WikiHow tutorial online? Okay, has everyone committed to an answer? Okay, a fast game is a good game, so I'm going to move. Has everyone committed an answer? Yeah? Okay, okay. The answer is A, how to take a photograph of your screen. Although my glamorous assistant, Sam Mercer, mocked up a fake WikiHow tutorial to add to the internet. Um, so yes, who in the room got that right? Which team? <laughs> One team. I thought you were all experts. Okay. Who made this inspirational photography quote? Was it A, August Sander, B, Ansel Adams, C, Henry Cartier-Bresson, D, Vivian Sasson, E, Kanye West, or F, Anonymous? <laughs> okay, I know you really want the selfie stick, so think really hard before you commit. Okay, okay, are we ready? You ready for the sick? Okay, August Sander. Oh, well done, well done. Well done, Wolfgang. Okay, you ready? This is, this is a, very, uh, a very important question. In 2006, the photographer Jimmy Lo Leo uploaded this photo of his cat to Flickr. What happened next? A. The image was stolen and became a famous lol cat. B. It was stolen and used by Air Asia in its marketing. C. The image was stolen and the cat's tail was photoshopped out, much to the owner's pain. Or D, all of the above. Any cat photography experts in the room? Apart from me? Okay, have you all committed your answers? Yeah? Okay, the answer is all of the above. <sighs> you know, the, I made you a cookie but I eat it at cat. And you can follow the journey of this cat at the following URL. 
Okay, you ready? You feel like the warm-up questions have passed? You're hitting your stride now? Good. Okay, which celebrity recently posted an Instagram selfie generated by a generative adversarial neural network? Or fake-ish AI for those of you who might not know what that is. Was it Kim, Kylie, Cristiano, Will I Am, or Kanye? This happened in the past few weeks. I mean, you know, you had to be under a rock or not know anything about photography to know this. I think you're following all the wrong Twitter feeds if you don't know this. Okay. Okay. Can I can I reveal the answer? Okay, who had Kylie, uh, Kylie Jenner? <laughs> well done, well done team at the back. Good to see Lars, you know your, um, you know your celebs, good work. Okay, according to Teen Vogue and Samsung, what is the average number of selfies a person will take in a lifetime? Okay, I, I know the tension is killing you. I know, I, I, I had the same questions, but I don't doubt the research methodology of Samsung. I'm sure they mean every single person in the world and not just people who have the money to, to buy their products. Um, the answer is 25,000. Anyone get that right? Well done, well done. Oh, ooh! Yeah, this, this team is the team to beat now. Great. Okay. The following are all photography-related advertising keywords for Google search. Which search terms have the most reach or biggest audience? Please arrange in the order of popularity. So you're going to have to write on your piece of paper. It's slightly more difficult. Okay, we're, has everyone committed? Committed to the ranks? Excellent. Excellent. I'd like to reveal that Instagram... Oh no, we put God in the wrong order, Sam. Instagram art, selfie, art and selfie have the same, wedding photography and contemporary art, same reach. And God, we can't count, God should have been further down, Sam. <sighs> okay, did anyone get the right order? No. What kind of search engine optimization experts are you all? This is terrible. Okay, we're going to move on. Which of the following companies have paid Amazon's Mechanical Turk to label and moderate images? So, just think you are a, a, a person who wants to earn three US dollars an hour, you sign up to Amazon's platform. You're given jobs to tell, to read images. It's probably around, what, half a cent per image that you read on Amazon Mechanical Turk. Um, which of the following companies or company? This, this one doesn't make much sense, does it? Okay, are you ready? Have you all committed? Yeah. Okay. All of the above. Yeah, well done, well done, team over here. Okay. What was the most popular Instagram hashtag of 2018? Okay, you all, you all committed to your answers? Yeah, no changing, no sneaky behavior here. Um, I'm pleased to report that the most popular Instagram hashtag was love. 
So Marco, photography is love. You love photography, each one of you. Okay. Um, you had a preview of the answer to this because uh, Marco showed you the Wikipedia article um, during his um, presentation. <coughs> How many selfie-related deaths in this five-year period? Was it A, 87, B, 259, C, 456, or D, 25? Okay, uh, has everyone, anyone need more time? No? Okay. 259. Who got that one? What, look. Oh, no, you only had a one in four chance of getting it. I mean, you're a very unlucky lot. But you guys down there, moving forward, great. A really important um, question here. To see if you know your canon of photography. Which Instagram image has the most likes? Cristiano, Beyonce, or Kylie Jenner's? <laughs> and perhaps for a bonus point, you'd like to even guess the final like count. Okay, everyone ready for the big reveal? Yes. yes. Kylie Jenner. <laughs> 18. What? Is that 18 billion? Million? Gazillion? No, it's 18.7 million. Okay, God, I just had a senior's moment. Okay. And who, got, who managed to get that number? You got 18,733,000. Brilliant. One of those 18 million. Ah, <laughs> nice. Um, okay, which of the following computer generated Instagram influencers were created by a British photographer? So here we have Lil Laquella, Shudu. Lightning and Bermuda. I'm sure you all follow them. <laughs> and engage with them about how they feel to be non-human. Has everyone resolved this crucial question in their heads? Okay. Shudu, who was the creation of Cameron James Wilson, who also, I believe, was a highly skilled photoshopper slash retoucher. Um, and of course, real models are now going, how can I compete with CGI models? So it's not just the photographer who's, who's um, a threatened being, but models. Okay. What? I think we copied this before we finished this question, Sam. <laughs> Which one of these cats is real and not the product of a generative adversarial neural network. <laughs> Which of these cats, photographs of cats, were created by a human and not a machine? Five of the cats you see here don't exist in real life, but were the product of an AI that was trained on a data set of millions of cats. You're going to Photoshop the right question in later, yeah? Fix it in post. Okay. Okay. Can we have a show of hands, group? Who thinks this is the, the, the non-real cat? No? Is it this one? The real cat? Which one is the real cat? This one? This one? Okay, one vote for this one. What about this 
see our cat is the real world. What about this one? Okay, and well, <laughs> this one I'm pleased to say is the real indexical cat. Okay, we've got two final quick fire questions. Which of these images is art photography and which image is not art photography? Come on, you are all connoisseurs. Surely you can tell when photography is art and when it's not. Okay, you've all... Which one? Which one? Which one is the artwork? The right one. Who says the left one? Well, you have been fooled by an Instagram influencer. <laughs> this is Mother Pucker. This is Will McBride from the 1960s. Okay, you ready? This is the final, final chance to get a point. So, art or not? Is the left hand hand example art, or is the right hand example art? It's the final, final chance to get a point and win some great prizes. Some of you might be subjecting the left hand image to a semiotic analysis. Nice car, what about fine art? You know, that is, could be a clue. Okay, now, who votes the left hand example is art? And who votes the right-hand example? <sighs> rich kids of Instagram? Rich kids of Instagram? And Andy Cassia, the male Amalia woman, developing his Insta-fame career. Well, now it is time for you to add up your scores and see if you were the lucky recipient of the prize bag. So, how do we, can everyone just yell out what number you have? Oh, this team? Four. <laughs> manifesto for photography. So, John is going to set up and we want you to show and vote and I'm going to take track your responses and at the end of tonight I'm going to feed it into an algorithm and it will help us develop a new manifesto for photography. So, if you could be really honest here with your suggestions. We'd really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Please go ahead, John. Just raise your hands 
uh, with a correct answer. So, <laughs> mm, is killing photography? Is Photoshop killing photography? You can just do a show of hands and you can raise your hands. Is social media killing photography? Are iPhones killing photography? A woman killing photography? Is the internet killing photography? Are photography missions killing photography? You have one here? Are influencers killing photography? Wonder. Are cats killing photography? We have three, four. Nice. Are selfies killing photography? Okay, we have three. Is Kylie Jenner killing photography? Three as well. Is the Instagram egg killing photography? Three as well. So cats get the most votes. Do, are there any you'd like to add to that list that we should um, consider? Men. <laughs> okay. This is a short for men. Okay. Any other? It doesn't be cats. Cats are the villains in the story. Uh, you have to raise hands. <laughs> yeah. Um, any other suggestions that we should consider? Dogs. Dogs. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you for your okay, feedback. Okay, thank you. So, next question is, uh, you must not call it photography if, if this expression helps you, so how do you want to call it? You want to call it mobilography? Phonography? Sure. I am going so fast, yeah. Mobilography? No one. Phonography? There was just shy, one shy answer. Who gets so frank? Who, who gets geography? <laughs> okay, that's the clear one. Who gets geography? Yeah. Clickography. <coughs> All the last option. Potatography. <laughs> we have three, four for potatography. And any other suggestion? Any other name that we should add? Yeah. Okay. So, this is a yes or no answer. So, is this a pipe? Who says yes? That's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> yes to yes. Who says no? Who says no? Okay. And now this is a tricky one. A cat is to a dog what photography is to truth. I can see one, two, three, four hands. Manipulation, no hands. Representation. Eight, I would say, eight hands. A cat is a dog, what photography is to old. A cat is a dog, what photography is to new. There's one hand. A cat is a dog, what photography is to photographers. One, two, three, four, five. Would you like to add any other option? I'm sorry? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Cinema, yes? Okay. Another good suggestion, any others? My esteemed experts? <laughs> okay, let's move to the next question then. So, uh, photographers should be afraid of... Everything. Okay, everything all together. Okay. Okay, so everything. 
So, uh, photographers should be afraid of circulation? No one? Photographers should be afraid of number of followers? Yes, one. That's one. Photographers should be afraid of originality? I can see two, three, four, five already. Photographers should be afraid of lighting? Oh, yeah. Photographers should be afraid of composition? I can see one hand. Photographers should be afraid of being at the right time in the right place? I can see two hands. Photographers should be afraid of how close the photographer is to the object? One, two, three, four hands, four boats. Or photographers should be afraid of the resolution of the screenshot? <laughs> Oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they should be afraid of the resolution of the screenshot. Okay, and now we need you to propose options. What the, what the photographer's future jobs will be? Please. Could you give us some answers? <laughs> Curators. <laughs> Curators? Okay. Archivists. Archivists? Or is the skills that they have. Non existent. Non existent? Opticians. I'm sorry? Opticians? Any other answer? Any other option? Influencers? Okay. Good. So, if you had to attribute your future death to photography, what would, you be, what would be your favorite way to die? Please choose. Being misrecognized by a machine vision algorithm as a terrorist and executed by a drone? Yeah, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven even hands. Poisoned by mercury while processing at a gerotype. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Would like to six, seven even to die processing at the gerotype. Falling into the ocean while taking a selfie on a cliff. I can see three people willing to die while taking a selfie. Four even. And. Uh, Dying because the shelf of photo books falls on you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. People want to die smashed by photo books. Wasn't another one being drowned in an Eric Kessel? Ah, yeah, drowned in, uh, in Eric Kessel's 24 hours uh, photographs uh, of Flickr installation. Anyone? Drowned in photography? Okay, that's one. Any other examples that weren't covered by this list, do you think? How? By people who knew that I was haunted by a picture of my life. What about this one? Ooh. Mm. Yes. <laughs> no, it's a bit too long, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't fit, doesn't fit. It's too long. It's for Marcus. Ah. Please, we, I, join me. We're, we're really, really, really um, happy that you were here to help us develop this manifesto um, in process and to reward you for your time, my amazing assistant here is going to circulate, well we have two options, depending on how lucky you're feeling, we have some condoms <laughs> with a roll and bark quote, which I'd like to show to you all. I don't think I can read it. No? <coughs> so it says, a photograph's puntum is that, is that accident that freaks me. Roland Barthes. I'm going to throw it away. It's out of the shop. Yeah. So while Katrina is distributing Barthesian condoms, I would like to take the chance to first of all officially launch 
the you must not call a photography if this expression hurts you demo website which also includes a preview <laughs> shop. It's in permanent beta, sorry. In permanent beta, <laughs> where you can take a look at our first products, sign up, send an email to help at you must not call it dot photography, and be up to date with our next releases of products. And then, of course, <clears throat> last but not least, I would like to invite all the people that are part of this rogue collective of curators, researchers, let's say it, dreamers, no. <clears throat> to join us on stage. Um, I see Leonardo, please come here and uh, let's give him a thank, the designer, web developer of the site. All these amazing products were created thanks to him with his help. Sam Mercer from the Photographer's Gallery hiding in the back. Doris Gasser, research curator, the one and only. Nadine Wittlisbach is looking at us from above. No, she's in um, She's fine, she's fine, she's fine. Mona Schubert, assistant curator, where are you? On the stage, thank you so much. And Laura Paloma, digital intern. Everybody. And of course, uh, Katrina and John, guests, initiators, co conspirator Thank you very much on behalf of well, I cannot be on behalf, of, on behalf of mine, but also, of course, of everyone here. Thank you so much, guys. <clears throat> there is no Q&A session, and we are not taking any questions at this moment. So thank you very much. <laughs> Let's have a drink now and enjoy ourselves. Thanks.